The central government was so weak that they had, they, that all 13 states had not been even represented in Congress since 1776. Uh, they, and they could ra rarely get a quorum in Congress. And so the fear was they'd had the Annapolis Convention where they tried to get some economic um, reform for the conf uh, Articles of Confederation, as you point out, and they couldn't get, they could get only a few states to come. And so they knew that the, the leaders of this, the people pushing it, and Washington, of course, was one of the people pushing it, knew that Washington, he was truly, along with Ben Franklin, who was quite elderly at the time, was in his 80s, he was the one true national celebrity. He was the person, remember, he led a revolution, and the soldiers came from all 13 states, and they'd all gone back to all 13 states. So they all knew him. And so he had a national constituency. Um, and he knew that, that, this, that a stronger central government was needed. And others like Morris and Jay and the other people, Madison, um, agreed with him. But none of them had the stature to pull it off besides Washington. But Washington knew it was so, or feared that it was a one-shot deal. He had credibility. But if he, had, if he went and it failed, right. and it failed, well, he'd lose his credibility. He, he had a great sense of public opinion. He had this instinctive sense of the, he knew it was a republic, and he knew the people ruled, and he had this instinctive sense of how they would react. And if it failed, he would lose his credibility. Then there'd be no one to pull it together. So he had to be sure there was a, a government that would work. Now, there was, no, there was no precedent. Congress, the old Confederation Congress was a one-house legislature. Um, that people, that half the members didn't even attend. There was no president, there were no courts. Um, it had no binding authority, it couldn't tax, it couldn't, couldn't do anything that imposed on the people. It had to work through the states. Now, he had to have an idea of a new reform. He often wrote, we need a, he'd actually write this in his letters, we need a revolution in government. We need radical cures, those were his own statements. And so what he did, before he agreed to come, he wrote letters to the people he trusted most, to John Jay, to Henry Knox, who was head of the War Secretary at the time, mm -hmm. uh, uh, to James Madison, asking them, well, what sort of government should we have? And they all sent him letters. And he read those over. And then he personally compiled them into a single document that really is the basis of the Virginia plan and the basis of the Constitution, that com compilation. He was struck with how similar, and then he became convinced there is a plan here. There is an alternative government, a two-house legislature, an independent president, executive, checks and balances, uh, a Supreme Court and inferior courts. Those were all in this, this compilation that he put together mm -hmm. and brought with him from Mount Vernon to the, to the Constitutional Convention. But once he was convinced there was a possible plan, right. and once he was convinced that the states would not so limit their delegates that they would be limited to just revising the Articles of Confederation because he thought the Articles of Confederation were beyond revision. Mm -hmm. he, once he became convinced of that, it was like Hamlet. And by the way, George Washington loved plays. He loved, the thing he liked about coming to Philadelphia is you had a lot of theaters and he was happiest watching a play and he loved Shakespeare. And so it was, should I go, shouldn't I go? If it's not gonna work, I can't go. He had to become convinced that there was an effective plan mm -hmm. and that, these, that this, this continental, this Confederate Congress, this mm -hmm. constitutional convention would assay, as he put it, say to the depths the problems of the Article of Corporation and offer radical cures. And once he became convinced of that, if his health held out and his mother let him go, he, he went.